So let's see. Coming to Smattlefield for our game one. So Duck Hunt versus Mario. I feel like Fireball definitely going to be uh, instrumental in this matchup to try and alleviate some of the pressure that Fawn is going to be laying down. Especially, you know, like, can actually, I don't know if Fireball has enough knockback to really disrupt Fawn's can placements. But, I mean, for sure, also, Cape going to be putting in a lot of work. But only if Kavin is able to get things started. A mistimed Cape right there. Fawn already looking to play around that timing. And I do actually want to point out that we have taken Fawn to small battlefield which I think is one of their best stages, uh, besides maybe regular Battlefield. But this is a this is a fun favorite for sure. Fun loves to use these platforms to set up really complex uh, ledge trap setups. You know, I've said it before, fun is playing Mario Maker and setting up entire obstacle courses for you to make it back into center stage with, you know, uh, Can, the Goon, the Frisbee, um, but, See if Kevin is good enough of a Mario Maker player to make it back and using the double jump to make it back into center stage. But an uh, ill advised fireball going to be getting Kevin caught by that up air. And Fawn taking stock one with not a whole lot of percentage, but as I say that, they, they do get grabbed, but reversing the situation. Fawn, you know, still right now pretty much in the driver's seat. Can it has exploded, which means it's back on line. Ooh, that's going to be big damage potentially, but a nice reversal neutral air from Kavin. Not going to be enough to save him that time. And Fawn is just running away with this game one. A three to one stocks. Fawn just has all of these angles covered right now. Uh, Mario, somewhat of a linear character in the angles that he can approach. Uh, obviously, he does have like fireball to cover himself on approaches. But with so many like hitboxes and things to hit to contend with against a character like Duck Hunt, who has a lot of like just kind of meat shields, you know. So right now, Fauna has just been dominating this neutral. Kavina trying to get some things started with the fireballs, but the Cowboys are in town right now. And they're they're not letting Fawn get hit by anything. But finally, a back air catching the neutral get up. Kavina now on the board, but 82 on his last stock it is looking grim for sure. Not able to get anything off of the whiffed uh, clay pigeon. I mean, it has to work a little bit harder. And also, not really knowing the timings of the individual goons, definitely putting Kavin in a bad situation right now, throwing out some mistimed uh, capes. And Fawn just kind of playing this the same old neutral right now. The Sheriff almost taking it. Neutral air, saving Kavin from that can. Nice timing on the uppy for Kavin, but I think that was forward tilt? Dash attack, maybe? It's a dash attack. We'll be seeing it here on the replay. On neutral getups into shield tries to get a little bit aggressive with the forward air, and I think that was F tilt. Yep, <laughs> poking right through, and at that high percent, that's absolutely going to be killing at ledge. So actually taking a uh, hollow bastion as our counter pick, coming out from Kavin against. Uh, against Duck Hunt, which I think it's, it, it's definitely an interesting pick. I don't know about it because, I mean, the platform layout of, you know, Smashville Hollow Bastion has really historically helped zoners who like to stay in center stage, which is what Fawn loves to do. Fawn loves to get you in the corner and then dare you to make it back into center stage. Though, of course, the... The platform being in the center means that Fawn is going to lose a little bit of um, variety in how they set up those ledge trap scenarios. So we're going to see how Fawn 
adapts to the the lack of resources in setting up those obstacle courses. Trying to use the fireballs, and Fawn uh, just kind of backing up, giving Kaveen the space. Kaveen does have a very slight percent lead right now, looking to set it up into a ledge trap and setting it up into a uh, stock lead as well. Ooh, but a clay pigeon potentially going to be big damage, but Kaveen does get the tech off of the main platform. That can almost uh, put Fawn in a real bad position. Kaveen getting aggressive with these back airs, but Fawn using the up air to catch Kaveen, throwing out these fireballs a little willy-nilly. Okay, the goon there saving Fawn from the uh, reflected can. Fawn maybe misspacing a back air on the can right there, but just shielding on top of the can. Kaveen maybe a little bit of a matchup check, actually. Uh, just kind of dared Kaveen into uh, hitting Fawn's shield, but a down air going to be putting Kaveen back into you know, back into this game, keeping things competitive. Second stock, uh, fresh stock on both sides. I'm actually able to make it through that platform for that uh, for that back air. So good spacing by Kaveen right now, and also going to be using that center platform to further the uh, the Mario combos. That's definitely going to be great for Kaveen on this stage. Ooh, but misses the tech that time. Kaveen wasn't quite ready. Fawn setting up for a ledge trap now, but uh, Kaveen's gone high quite a bit. Using that, uh, you know, that famous Mario jump to make it back into center stage. Fawn now using the center platform, just make it, making themselves at home. And again, Kaveen getting a little bit too aggressive, maybe not quite aware of how the can is is working for Fawn right now. Fawn now with another stock lead. Now not as high percentage, uh, so Kaveen going to have to work a little bit harder to get this uh, second stock off of Fawn. All right, up smash, not going to be doing it quite yet. No rage on the board for Kaveen, but a reverse or a uh, breaker frisbee for Fawn, keeping, keeping them safe from that grab. Now Kaveen has to kind of play from behind and find, find his way into this center stage that Fawn has set up for themselves. Now, Force, I gotta ask, do you think this is still possible for Kaveen? Like, oh, considering uh, things yeah. like that would happen? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely not impossible for a character like Mario who can really just make stocks explode with the right setup. But against a player like Fawn, who has just been playing so amazingly as of late, it's definitely looking rough. For sure. Oh, oh. And a neutral air is actually going to be the thing to take it. So that's going to be 2-0 in favor of Fawn over Kaveen. Now, I got to say, Fawn has actually been, like, on a heck of a tear ever since Smash Gun, I want to say. Like, it's been absolutely insane, oh, absolutely. like, what she's been up to. Um, nonetheless, like, her Duck Hunt has already been known for quite some time, actually, being, like, one of the few people who actually play this character here in Tri-State. Um... But after Smash Con, it's just been insane. Like, I, I don't mm -hmm. know what happened. It's it's sort of like a Yu-Gi-Oh situation where you have Yu-Gi and Yami. It's like, that's it. Yu-Gi's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yu-Gi's gone. It's only been Yami. It's only been right. Yami. It's absolutely insane.